Hello everyone, this is Bradley. So today this is a fundamental tutorial talking about distribute objects or instance points, whatever stuff in volume in geometry nodes. So let's start. So here we in Blender, I'm firstly going to introduce you the presets which you can download for free from the link in the description and then I will move on to break down these presets. Okay. So here is a very simple setup. We have a torus. There's nothing within the node tree. There are essentially two methods or two approach to distribute points. One is you distribute points on the surface and then you create a surface in volume. Okay, so that's the first method, which is basically field volume methods. The second method is that you distribute points within this 3D space and then check if this point is inside the volume. So you only keep the points which is inside the volume that's why there is a is inside the volume preset to use the preset is pretty simple so for example you just fill the volumes it's not it does not look like anything is happening but if you just point distribute then there's point distributed on the surface and it's still not very obvious unless you turn on this maximum displacement and you increase the counts they immediately can find how it actually works Okay. This node is not intentionally made for this kind of purposes, but this is how it works. So you can use that to really distribute points within volume and then to instance whatever stuff. It's doable. Okay. There is a very good part for it is that it outputs normal and rotations that which may benefit you in the long run. This method has a side effect that if your original mesh contains tons of, ma uh, tons of vertices, then it can be potentially very slow because you are generating more vertices as uh, in, during the process of instancing. So this is the sort of thing that you have to measure. Okay. So what about the, is inside the volume? This is inside the volume node is pretty tricky because you need to firstly have a points in a 3D space and then you determine oh is that inside the volume of the other object or not. Uh, here let's start with a simple example that I have a grid. Let's take this grid as 100 or 100. Okay. And then let's increase the size so that it finally matches our torus. So this is a torus, this is our grid and our grid is hyper intense so there must be points inside of this uh, torus okay and then because this node is derived from recast node so I keep the all discount no one creature with the target position and the direction we plug the torus as a target geometry because it's the one for evaluation and then we decide if we keep the points or not. So plug yes or no. If it's inside, we delete that. So we need to actually use no. So now we actually keep the points inside, but we do not see it because it has been covered. So this is kind of idea. Okay. Next thing we need to decide is to make sure there are points in 3D space. Then maybe it's possible that you still finally use this field volume mode. Uh, just to know that if you use that, it will be pretty heavy if you have these vertices. But it's also a, the, the only method that you create a grid. Okay. So in this case, uh, we can use the mesh to the points so that you can see the points actually or a grid within this volume of our torus. Okay. So this is just a kind of idea. There are some costs, definitely, if you really do that, but you can get a grid. Or if you do not mind to have a grid, then you can use these distributed points. Uh, once you do that, uh, there's the normal has been disrupted. Maybe you want to use the custom normal. Uh, and it's, wait, actually it's not working because we do not need to match the points. So still use no. And then now it's working again. Okay, so these are kind of idea. There are pros and cons for each of the methods but this is what I can present to you. Okay, so next we are going to break down these presets. Honestly, I'm not very interested in 
breaking down these presets because it's shared for free. You can investigate its component by your own in your free time. It's it contains a lot of mass operation in this node. So and in essence, it's basically just point to instance and uh, set the position to displace your plane. So I'm not uh, too interested in discussing that. It's a uh, lot of operation can investigate by our own, but uh, it's uh, very possible to talk about this easy side of volume node. So let's just uh, spend a little bit of time talking about that. It's basically a recast node. So you start with a geometry. So this target geometry is the geometry that you evaluate whether it's inside that volume or not. And the source position and the redirection are all filled based on the geometry that you finally manipulate. Okay. So here what we do is actually, in fact, uh, in this particular case, because it's a grid, so just by using this easy hit, we can delete the point which is hitting or which is inside our volume. However, this is hit is not good because if we try to displace this plane, then you can realize there are points here which is also being deleted while there must not be within the volume of our torus. The reason is the redirection is negative one. So the ray is, so the point is here and the, the ray comes down and it definitely will hit our torus. This is definitely not really good. So often to prevent this kind of case, we need another function. So take a, so first let's take a Boolean mass because we want to keep the, we want to delete the points which is not inside volume so that we keep the points inside the volume and this is what we're getting. And then we need a boolean add the function to add uh, another operation to determine, to make sure that the point is really inside the volume. In this case, we are going to base on the normal. So we firstly need to determine the normal. So you can use the normal attribute, but you also need to think, what if I'm using a custom normal attribute? This is a kind of another topic which is talking about implicit attributes methods, but I'm not going to talk about it here. So here, here I'm just going to give a shortcut that's plug the normal into redirection. And then there's a vector mass function, which is called a dot product. Uh, yes, we have dot product. We plug the hit normals in, and we plug the normal in. Dot product is essentially determining the similarity between two vectors. So if one vector is going that direction, the other vector is going that direction, they, are, they have a very similar direction. That's why they are outputting a value greater than one. Okay. So in this case, we float compare. We need to determine if it's greater than or equal. And plug that in try to use the geometries. Uh, let's disable the torus. So now we have the points inside the torus and we eliminate the other points, which is hitting our torus, but their normal direction is not good. So this is kind of idea. In reality, you probably need to consider more stuff, but I'm not going to cover that. So if you do not want to use the presets, you have to add about five nodes or six nodes every time, which is not very productive because this is such a repetitive function. So that's basically it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll probably see you next time. Bye-bye.